this morning in this video i will give you a brief introduction to the different type of uh, hunting dogs that there are on the leash you see a terrier so a dog that goes to ground often for predator control so as, such as foxes and badgers sometimes also used above ground but that's not what the name terrier meaning terra implies so above ground could be for other uh, activities that other dogs often can do as well but sometimes because the terrier is a little bit smaller it's easier to chase uh, some uh, quarry for example raccoon <coughs> which does not always live uh, below ground and also for example for ratting okay then another type of terrier a scent hound a scent hound is normally a dog for chasing the quarry it will pick up the smell and you have different uh, denotation of scent hounds from being quite warm so then the quarry needs to be there uh, just a few moments ago to quite cold even to uh, several days or a week old trails can be found and then under those scents can uh, then be followed until they get warmer and warmer and you close on, on the quarry so this is the type of dog that helps you to find the quarry we have a retrieving type of dogs in my opinion not real hunting dogs but they help people that already shot for example a duck to retrieve it and so that they don't have to do it themselves we have catch dogs so dogs that are there uh, to help you catch for example a hawk like a bulldog does american bulldog or dog argentino are prime examples we have also treeing type of dogs dogs that uh, chase chase down the quarry and uh, help help them to be treated for example black bears are often treated and hunted but also raccoons and other type of dogs are used then uh, yeah to help treeing often treeing type of dogs they use many you also have uh, hunting dogs get different style i mentioned already cat dog that which is quite often the silent type you have baying type of dogs so dogs that just bark for example tree dogs bark and chase the quarry down to a direction that you want you have another example of this type of dog a Karelian bear hound which is a type of dog that uh, tries to treat the bear or uh, get it or the mooses that uh, you also have varieties that you're chasing mooses for example black black uh, elk hounds and that they chase them to the hunters and the hunters sheep shoot them you have uh, dogs that are very uh, bushing dogs so they go into the bushes and try to uh, get the rabbits for example out of the bushes so that they can be shot or chased down by a running type of dog but very often also the bushing type of dogs are able to go to the bushes rapidly able to kill them also in the bushes because they have more strength to push through the bushes hey. I also mentioned uh, the running type of dogs so these type of dogs are there to chase and then uh, kill often uh, times uh, this is on quite light quarry but sometimes up to uh, up to quarries such as uh, deers these type of dogs are for example uh, greyhounds whippets but especially lurches to the process of running dog but also other blocks such as collie or terrier to give them a better feet and uh, to handle the rougher terrain and also more killing ability so a dog that's only good to chase is not always uh, the faster dog not always the strongest dog or most capable of uh, doing what he wanted to do and also a dog that, that is very fast but injures itself every time is not that suitable so also within one uh, sort of hunting dogs for example uh, terrier dogs some are more of a baying type of dog like jack russell's and some are more catching type of dog like other terriers or better terriers and some more sitting between 
they can do both. But they are called a mixed type often. So next to this uh, types of dog, you also have very specific type of dogs like a uh, uh, koike dog, a dog to lure in ducks. So it's not so much a retriever, but it does silly things and then uh, it gets the attention of the ducks and the ducks come close and they get shot. It's a Dutch breed, for example. We also have uh, this in uh, modern days, for example, coyote luring dogs. These are not dogs normally to dare to kill the coyotes themselves. They are just there to lure in the coyotes close by and then uh, especially the hunter will shoot them off. Coyotes are known uh, to be dog killers, so sometimes it helps if you have some smaller dogs like a pack of petadils to lure them in. But petadils are quite a feisty little uh, bugger. They will try to uh, win over the coyote. So that you need at least uh, a pack to handle one, otherwise the uh, predator will be damaged or killed very easily. Also big dogs often get lured by uh, coyotes the other way around and then uh, ambushed, so it's very dangerous to leave the dogs out uh, alone. Another species that's very often used as a uh, uh, coyote luring dog is the Australian cattle dog or crosses thereof. I don't know why, but I see them very often being used as such. They are saying because they have a little bit of dingo blood in them, they understand the wild dogs better. Who knows? Then uh, there are also uh, dogs, as I mentioned, that are uh, bred to hunt one specific species, for example, the coon hounds. Red Terrier, raccoon and for raccoons, Red Terrier for hunting rats, but uh, also these types of dogs, for example, the Red Terriers, they were primarily bred uh, for hunting rats, but they often also kill quite a lot of uh, other vermin, like even snakes, uh, the rattlesnakes in size. So that gives you a little bit of uh, insight of uh, the different types of hunting dogs. I think uh, there will always be hunting dogs that I missed. Please let me know. Uh, there's also a dog like a Spaniel, which is like a brushing type of dog as well, often. But uh, yeah, it's very hard to uh, mention all the type of dogs, of course. <coughs> and uh, also next to a Terry, you could have a Dachshund. A duck or a, uh, we also call them the wiener dog. They are just like a, a German variety with a lot of similar properties to uh, a lot of terrier breeds. So please uh, also keep it in mind. This video was not to be inclusive of all specific uh, hunting dog breeds because that was not my uh, purpose. But it could give you some insight of the different types in a short introduction. Have a great day. Bye-bye.